Hello everyone. Here is another artwork that I've created. It's called Tragic Artist. It's a portrait of the artist Vincent Van Gogh. In the U.S., it's pronounced Van Gogh, but he was Dutch, and they pronounce his name as Vincent Van Gogh. In this video, I will refer to him as Vincent. Born in 1853, Vincent didn't start out as an artist. He was an art dealer, language teacher, preacher, bookseller, and missionary worker, but none of them worked out. He began painting later in life at the age of 27 and found out that was his true calling. His younger brother Theo, who was an art dealer, supported him financially. Vincent created over 2,000 artworks during the next 10 years. Most of his paintings were produced during the last two years of his life. He's one of my favorite artists because I can relate to him. He was self-taught like myself. I like to kid around and say I graduated from the art school of winging it. He didn't start his art career until the age of 27. I myself began doing serious art after the age of 27. He sold only one painting in his life with the help of his art dealer brother, Theo. I haven't sold a piece of art yet, but I'm just getting started. Many people think his best artworks are Starry Night and Sunflowers. My personal favorite is this self-portrait painted about a year before he died. He painted about 32 self-portraits in his lifetime. I like it not because I wanted to see what he looked like. I like it because he was trying to paint what he was feeling at the time. In his letter to his brother Theo regarding this painting, he said, You will need to study the picture for a time. I hope you will notice that my facial expressions have become much calmer, although my eyes have the same insecure look as before, or so it appears to me. Here, we see what the thought process was for Vincent when he was painting himself. He was trying to show his emotions through art. It's him giving the viewer a very intimate look of his inner thoughts. This is why I created this artwork. I wanted to pay tribute to Vincent. I didn't want to create a duplicate of his work. What I wanted was to capture his thoughts and emotions going through his head during that time period of his life. Some people may not know this, but Vincent was diagnosed with epilepsy. Not only that, he may have been suffering from depression or even bipolar disorder. Back then, there were limited treatment options for mental illness. And that is what I wanted to capture in this portrait. If you see his facial expression in this portrait, you'll notice the melancholy. His lips are slightly frowned. His eyes are not looking at the viewer, but elsewhere as if he is staring at a blank space, deep in thoughts. This could also be the result of his epilepsy. One symptom of an epileptic seizure is a blank stare. You'll notice Vincent used curved lines to paint his wardrobe. I believe he's trying to convey body movements. One might say a body doesn't move when the person is sitting still. I disagree because the heart is still beating, blood is still flowing through the body, the person is breathing, the eyes will still blink, the veins are still pulsing. I think Vincent was trying to show that. An artist doesn't have a lot of options to show movements in a portrait. 
Vincent was way ahead of his time in trying to show that. But what about the wavy lines in the background? If he was sitting behind a wall, surely the wall wouldn't move. I believe Vincent was trying to show his frame of mind. He already told his brother Theo in the letter that he will need to study it for a time. A focal aware seizure in the frontal lobe may include a feeling like a wave going through the head. I think that was what Vincent was trying to show. And if he had bipolar disorder, then it may add to the restlessness in his mind. I suspect the waves in the background represents the restless thoughts and feelings he had in his mind. I tried to convey that in this portrait. I made the waves even more obvious to the point close to a psychedelic moment. Vincent was prolific during the last two years of his life. He produced many artworks in just two years, but nobody knew why. Why would a starving artist up his game, so to speak, when no one was buying his paintings? I suspect his mental illness was getting worse, and painting was his only medicine. There were virtually no treatment options for mental illness back in the late 1800s. He even committed himself to a psychiatric hospital. But how does an artist treat a restless mind? By painting. For anyone who haven't done any drawing or painting, it requires concentration and lots of it. But once you're doing it, you get into a zone or a rhythm while you're creating something. It's a soothing feeling, therapeutic even. I believe that's how Vincent was treating his mental illness. He had to paint for his mental health. This leads to an answer for another question. Why did Vincent paint so many self-portraits? Was he just vain? The most common answer is that Vincent couldn't afford models, so he had to practice painting himself using a mirror. But if you look at his body of works, he painted many people, and I doubt he had to pay them any money. If we go back to the letter he wrote to his brother Theo, I suspect he wanted to show people what he was feeling. He was hoping someone will recognize it and can understand what he was going through, but no one did. He died in the year 1890 at the age of just 37 from a gunshot wound. It was ruled a suicide. His brother Theo was by his side when he passed away. Theo himself died a few months later. It's unfortunate that Vincent died at such a young age. But what makes it even more tragic was he believed he failed as an artist. The final words he uttered before he died were, The sadness will last forever. He was a virtual unknown when he lived, but became a celebrated artist after his death. A tragic artist indeed.